Oh my goodness, it has been a brutal couple of weeks. Just popping up for a quick update and an exciting one. The TLDR is that this nerf can now be previewed in Blender. Let me show you how it works, along with some more updates. So now we've got a custom panel with a few options. One of them is to import a dataset, which for now has to be a transforms.json generated with the help of Colmap, but more types of datasets can be added later. This loads all the camera poses into Blender where you can see them. And when you press the start training button, it loads the images into the nerf algorithm and starts training. Right now you cannot see the training happening in real time, but that is on my to-do list very soon. In the last few weeks, I was also able to speed up training quite a bit by optimizing some of the gradient calculations. I found some mathematical equivalences, was able to knock out a triple for loop, which boosted performance dramatically, and also just spent some time pondering the algorithm and applying some other techniques like improving spatial locality in VRAM, caching expensive calculations, and limiting global memory access as much as possible. Anyway, let's speed through this. Here we have trained the LEGO scene to 1024 iterations, and now we can turn on our custom renderer and visualize it in semi-real time. Right now we also have to set the color interpretation to raw inside Blender, but that's also on my to-do list. So at this stage in development, it is procedurally generating a full resolution image, and I sort of cheated by making the Blender window tiny, but there are more techniques we can use to make this feel more interactive, and that's what I'll be focusing on in the coming days. For example, we can render a super pixelated version very quickly as you are orbiting the camera around, and then when you stop moving, we can paint in high resolution squares starting from the center, and those will continue to paint in until you move the camera again. This is just one idea. And implementing this sounds like a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to this because I've never done it before. Anyway, it's really an art to make a real-time interactive render engine, and I have so much more respect for the engineers who have made existing 3D rendering engines than I did when I started this project. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Here is a snapshot in time of my progress, and I'm so excited because things are going to get real interesting from here. See you next time.